Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel e-commerce project tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about creating the category page for the admin. Now let's see how can we create the category page. First of all, let's create a model and migration for the category. For that, go to the command prompt and for creating the model, uh, just run the command php artisan make fallen model a space model m which is category and for creating the migration just add your dash m now hit enter okay model and cat uh, this migration has been created now uh, go to the project and let's open the categories migration so just go inside the database directory and uh, here just go inside the migration and now let's open this one create categories table migration okay uh, from brand stable migration now let's copy this three line of code and just go inside the categories table and just paste here okay and here add one more field one uh, more column which is table the string and uh, column name which is parent id and set here the null id Okay, now save this and uh, now let's migrate this migration. So we'll go to the command prompt and run the command php artisan migrate. Okay, now hit enter. Migration done. Now run the application. So write here php artisan search. Alright, now let's create the category page for the uh, admin uh, from where we can view all the categories. Okay, so go to the admin controller, just close this migration and uh, inside the controllers folder, uh, let's open this one, admin controller and here let's create another function, so right here public function and function name which is categories. Okay, and here let's create a variable categories is equal to add here the model category. Okay, then order by ID and pass here the order by descending order. So DESC and then as in it. and set the size default size 10 ok now return ok return a view this one uh, view is categories view and just turn on this index admin dot categories ok and also pass this category so inside the compact just pass in the categories now let's create the route for this so go to the web.php and here after this just add new route route get add the URI admin forward slash categories and then add here the controller name admin controller class and method name which is categories also give the route name which is admin dot categories okay now save this file and now let's uh, create this view so go to the go to the resources directory 
and resources views have been and here let's create a new file which is a categories dot blade dot php okay and now here uh, let's open the branch dot blade dot php file and from here let's copy let's copy all the content so select all and copy and now go to the categories dot blade dot php file just paste here okay now let's make some changes here so change here the title and write your categories also copy this and paste here categories and just remove this add new link so put here the hash sign okay and inside the image uh, first change here the for each so here inside the for each add here categories and then select this press ctrl plus d okay all selected one more time and then just remove this and add here category okay this is a category id category image category name slug and uh, from here just remove this and uh, also remove from here okay now save this now go to the admin layout file so just go inside the layout directory open admin.blade.php file and let's find the menu so here is the brand link brand menu and also add here the link for the add new branch so just remove this link and add here route admin dot brand dot add okay now let's add the category link so inside the category just remove this and add a route and route name admin dot categories okay now save this now it's done so let's check so switch to the browser and just refresh the page and now just go to the category and inside this let's click on categories and here is there undefined variable categories okay category in a small letter so just write here small c now save this and refresh the page okay also change here the category this is not brands categories now set this and refresh the page and you can see here the categories page okay so in next video we will see how can we create the new category so in this way you can create the category page so that's all about creating the category page so thanks for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching